Hey guys, this is uh, Dilpo again here. Um, uh, this tutorial is going to be about making your outline. And I'm going to go more in depth on colors in this tutorial. Um, so you're going to want to open up your graphics scale free edition. Um, I go over all of this in um, my previous tutorial. If you haven't seen that one, uh, you need to go watch that first. So, Alright, you're going to want to uh, come up here, just hit new. And this one, I'm just going to keep it 30-30. You can go 50 by 50. You can go 100-100. Uh, pixel art usually goes up to 200 by 200 for the most high quality pixel art. Uh, beyond that, it's just regular images. It's not really pixel art anymore. Um, so you want to go 30-30, 8-bit, and just hit OK. Alright, now you're going to want to uh, extend it, like so. Bring it over. Uh, these windows too, the little, you can maximize it to this if you want, but I like to keep it a window. These windows over here, like the uh, loop, the uh, frame layer, preview, uh, you can move these around anywhere you want. So, um, yeah. And then the colors, alright. You want to, um, well, first extend your thing so you can see it colors you you might have noticed that you have a couple presets a couple presets down here these are brighter these are a little more dull easier on the eye any color uh, just click on it that would be it'll set it to your what color you're using like let's put the pen down like I have the purple I guess like this green color uh, then all these blacks they're just black there's nothing special about them but um, what you can do is there's the red green blue tab and um, a hue, saturation, um, and intensity tab. So the red, green, blue. If you're using like what uh, me and Brandonia use, um, which is Blitz, and red, green, blue values a lot on there for like masking and stuff. So red, green, blue can help there to make your colors. Um, this is easier to make your color though. If you're going for a specific thing, like say you want a really light blue like this you can put it all the way and put it over here so it's almost white and it'll be like a cloudy sky color um so then that's that and then you can and then see it saves it over here you can make every single one of these blacks a different color if you want and then it'll change up there so you're gonna wanna get uh... color really depends on what you're doing so, uh, your uh, preset unchangeable black here, and the first part of all pixel art is making your outline. You need to know what you're gonna make before you do it. You can't just wing it. That is really hard to do. Um, so you can start anywhere you want. Like I'm gonna make one of the uh, spaceships because I've made a lot of those. Um, I recommend using the arrow keys when you have this pixelated of an image. You might feel comfortable using your mouse. You can just hold it down and like go for it. But those come out a lot blockier, and it's a lot easier to get like a perfectly symmetrical design yeah, using the arrow keys. So I'm going to start down here, and you just work your way, kind of see as it's going. And if you want to erase, there is no eraser tool. What you need to do is go up here, grab your white or whatever color your background is you can always right click like see if I want to color this like take this black here right click it and it becomes your primary color so I want to erase I just get the white and I can make all that white and it's all gone and then you have to come up here to get black because there's no black here to right click so you want to just come down make a little spaceship come back put a little if it's in there, give me any design that you feel comfortable with. There's some like, I wouldn't recommend going for a full person right away unless you're already experienced um, in pixel art. Um, otherwise, if you feel comfortable doing that, go for it. See how this is not symmetrical here. You can you can just work your way. See how this one I went one two up right there. If you're going for symmetrical, you can always um, copy paste too. Just get your rectangular selection tool. Uh, do this and then 
this button right here control C but it, uh, copy then you need to get out of this little box and then paste and now move it around and see how I have a per copy of that and then I'm just gonna delete that though and then um, for your pixel art all I do is I make like a rough draw like this is really crappy you can probably tell right now that is not pixel art that's just a blob so I start with a rough draw and then what is, then you want to think what is wrong with it how can I fix it and then you want to fix it so this side looks like it's a little towery this side looks more evenly going up like that this side is like instead of just going like that it's like goes in and goes up a lot in so I'm gonna change this side because I like this side so what I do is I count them like one two one two over one two up so these are all equal so far then it comes up here and this is good but then right here this is not good this is not that's not the same as that so I'm grab my white and I'm just gonna take that off grab my black and I'm going to go up in up twice and then go up like that and that would then that's symmetrical to that side now which I'm pretty sure it's exact and then I run into this problem sometimes it's not a big deal when you get it but it's kind of a nuisance I don't like it that in the 30 by 30 there's no middle there's only a to the left side or there's a to the right side and when you zoom out like you can't tell that there's a left and a right in that preview box right there it looks the same but so you don't worry about that and then wanna, we'll make a little cockpit for our spaceship and remember don't worry if you mess up at all it's totally normal it's and I just noticed right now my bottom is not symmetrical it's to the right one pixel so what I'm gonna do to fix that just get rid of that make sure these are good see if this one is coming down like that while this one comes down it doesn't meet it to the right so I'm gonna wanna get some black put it right there now that that's good come over one here come over one there then I'll make that see now it's a symmetrical you can put any little designs you want it is your pixel art um, if you have no ideas, you're just at a loss, which I find myself to be in a lot. Um, a great source of inspiration is other people's work. Just don't copy. That is not cool to just take it and say, oh, look what I made. That's not, like, cool. I guess you can if they say it's okay. But that's not pixel art. Why are you watching this tutorial if you're going to do that? So um, work on that. That's how to make your outline. Um, and one last thing. The background use a fill tool like in your like game or whatever if you have a solid background just make it easy on yourself find the red green blue value of the background that you're going to use and fill this will look totally transparent it'll appear as though this fits right in with the uh, image do not uh, try this transparency color it's really uh, complicated I've only successfully done it once it requires these layers that are incredibly impossible to use um, so yeah that is and then just save it anywhere in here you can always export to a new one I don't find why they have that in there useful at all because you uh, save is type I recommend PNG that is a great it has uh, transparency support uh, you can do pretty much anything in a PNG so that is how to make your outline in graphic scale. Thanks.